Right, I think we've begun. Oh, you can hit double. Whoa. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. All right. Welcome to the unlucky few who found this stream. Uh, I'm I'm in binaural mode, which means that I'm on either side of your ears. Whoa. So this this is a little secret late night stream. Uh there are three reasons that I am live right now. Uh one second. Let me let me get it up so I can do the chat. Oh, I gotta pop you guys out. One sec. How do you pop out of Twitch chat? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I don't have my pop filter on. I just pushed air into your ears. Alright. I can see you guys. You're you're far away, but it's fine. So, there are three reasons that I'm doing this stream. The first one is I uh, have spent the last five years streaming on Streamlabs OBS, which I've been informed was a bad idea. So now I've switched to OBS, but I don't know if everything's working or if it's all broken. Uh, for instance, I pressed go live, and I'm used to just it popping up saying, Okay, here, put in your settings, it, uh, do you want to go live? Sh are you sure? This time, I just pressed start stream, and I was already live on Twitch. Oh, I've made a hideous mistake. I have my view account on. That is something I don't normally have on, and there are 10 people listening to this. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my sort of tech demo for my debut stream, as well as I wanted to try out doing any kind of like ASMR-y type thing, because my microphone is fitted for it. I've listened to ASMR um, for since like 2019 I think uh, so I'm, I'm a big advocate for it um, and I wanted to experiment I thought this was a good time to do it where there's pretty low stakes I decided let's do a stream where I don't announce it anywhere I'm sure no one will come and there's there's 10 people I'm, how do you turn off your, your viewer account on Twitch <laughs> oh, oh no okay G give me one second I need to, so in the main thing that I'm testing here is that I've put a bunch of new filters on my microphone. One of the big ones is that all sound I make is universally the same, which means if I whisper, then I get like to the same audio level as if I'm shouting and they both mix to be sort of at a like normal talking level um yeah so hopefully that's fine uh i've messed around it with it a bit at first it sounded like i was like the narrator from the stanley parable and i was like very i don't know what the word is but like, i guess like flat like every tone was the same um but uh i think i sorted out to a decent degree hopefully um this isn't necessarily like gonna be the most relaxing asmr experience it, but it's it's more just i'm gonna find my footing and i thought it was better to do it here rather than like i think it's safe to say that asmr has gained a stigma over the years as being like that there, there's some decently like i guess allows itself to be a much more intimate medium but i my connection with it is i just think that it's a well introduced like limit on a storytelling medium of okay let's like in a role play sort of way telling a story where for some reason all of the characters in it have to be relatively quiet i think that that's a good uh, 
that's both a good tonal setting and also allows itself as like a springboard to be uh, used for like comedy. That's a, that's my main thing is I listen to like really funny creators. There's some really good ones out there. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd try it out uh, since I have the equipment ready for it. I am just gonna um lean over here. Hello, Aka. Hello, Clary. Hello, Iza. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for the for the sub um before debut, uh, which is in less than a week. Oh my god. Okay, I'll give me a second to turn off my view count, and then I'm gonna waffle about uh how insanely excited I am for the debut because everything's going so well. Okay, one second. All right, we're good. I've just popped out the chat. You, oh, I'm making you want to do ASMR, am I, Clary? Because, like, I discussed this with you and you said, oh, ASMR? No, no, no. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um. All right. I can do the, the funny thing, look, I'm on your right side, and then I'm on the left side, ooh, oh, it's scary, okay, tell me if I'm peeking the mic, or if I'm, like, I do have my pop filter available, um, so I can put that on if I end up blowing air into the mic too much. Did, did that pick up my, like, old gremlin sound? I, like, was leaning down, I limped back into the mic, went, all right. Uh, I should be good. All right. My my bones are somewhat okay. All right, I'm ready. Do I pronounce your name Ninny? I think, I think potentially. All right. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. I'll try and keep the the swallowing and mouth sounds a little less on of the obnoxious side because I know that there is look at you know particular genre for that and uh, some people tend not to partake so I may limit that for the first thing of it don't use the things yet you're just wasting your channel points on okay I'll tell you now on OBS, there is every single thing that I could spoil the debut with. And this particular scene has only got this gif on it. Because I desperately didn't want everything to fail. It's it's alright. I understand the curiosity. The de For the first half of the debut, I will make sure to deactivate the channel point redeems. So just... Um, just know that, that basically, without spoiling it, the way the debut is going to go is there is a probably like 45 minute long, um, section of sort of, it's more of like a audience interaction based show, uh, of like a role play that I, I'm happy for you guys to get into. Like I I hope that there is some back and forth on that. Um you just was that with bits? I d yeah, they've they've done this new thing on Twitch with power ups with like bits. I don't really understand it. Um Wow, thank you thank you for the forty bits. Um Yeah, this so then after that I'll get into sort of showing off all of the new things that I've got for after debut, um, including all the channel point redeems. So that should be fun. Uh, you can you you can be there after the stream. Uh, I'll 
I'm going to do a watch party with you. For those that don't know, Clary is on a plane at the exact time of my debut, which is very tragic and also quite funny. Uh, but that happened to be at the exact same time. Big. Oh, that's also with bits, is it? Can you make a, an emote big? That's really funny. I really, I really like that. It's something, something about the, I think the big brain gif emote is my favorite. It's the most versatile. I can use it in any situation. Uh, anyway, am I talking too much into like one side of the microphone? I'm very conscious that like, I don't want to just be on your left ear. Um, all right. What, what, what am I doing here? So we've, we've made sure that that has worked. For those that were here at the start of the screen, was it double? Oh my god, that is a fancy message. Was there a double a double up on the audio? Because if there was a double up, that means my desktop audio is working, which is great. Um, apart from that, uh, we're just going to have to pray, because there's no way of me testing things without spoiling everything. I, I wish that there was... Someone has to do this out there. There has to be a tool for streamers where you can live stream to a service that is completely private. So I can do a Twitch stream just to myself. Because I could do that with YouTube. But as I saw last time I did that, people clicked on the icon on Discord where it said I was live and went to the unlisted stream. <laughs> Which is, albeit very funny, but also not exactly what I want to do when revealing all my secrets. Alright. Okay. Um... I, I can't wait for the the influx in people that I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy with how the growth on like Twitter's going at the moment but I can't wait for the influx of people to come in and be like oh my god cute cat girl and then I appear as the little ape that I am just like talking about bones and goop and jumping around it's gonna be fun though I'm I'm ready to get in there. It's only a week now, and I'm excited, but I'm also scared. Um, it's it's a very ambitious stream. Uh, I've done some takes of it. I've done some rehearsals, if you will, and I think it's it's going to go quite well. I might try now and see how, for the sake of let's say. Ah, uh, science, how the microphone picks up objects, and not just because I'm tempted to do a little bit of the asmr -er Um, alright. Can't unlock the rest of my channel points, uh, emotes with channel points. Well, <laughs> have you ever heard of the subscribe feature on Twitch? It's very exciting. So, uh, what I've got here, sorry, I'm, I'm a little congested to be talking this close to a microphone. Uh, Alright, I've got to be conscious that, hopefully, actually, if I talked really loudly, like, this is, this is the good thing about the filters. Normally, if I, like, coughed whilst doing ASMR, it would deafen everyone. But it should equalize it to be the same volume as me whispering. So hopefully, we're fine. Um, Alright, I'm gonna... I've got some dice here. These dice actually have bees in them. I, I got dice that have like a little bee in them. Like a model of a bee. Does this... is this on your right ear? Whoa, that's why. Professional guys. Oh, that's the left side. Okay, nice. Me, me when I'm me when I'm dungeoning some dragonums. All right, I'll put those back. Um, this is like, <laughs> there's a funny story about this. I have, so I have a blue yeti. When I got this, I didn't really know what a pop filter was, so I got. A pack of 16 foam pop filters. The, like, caps that you put on your microphone. 
and none of them fit, so I just cut into some of them on the sides and just wiggled it on. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it was like three pounds for a pack of 16, and now I just have these foam cups that I just have with me and have had for like five years. I keep them in my drawer. It's, it's, they're all different colours. It's lovely. But uh, I've got one here. Can you hear that? I don't know how well you can hear that. I also, I do have brushes. I could try and do mic brushing, but that, I think that'll be possibly even too loud for the filters because it'll be so close to the microphone. I also have popping candy, <laughs> but that might be for a different stream um, because it is currently 11.30 p.m. and I don't want to eat an entire pack of popping candy. But, uh, that'll be, that'll be something to look forward to for next time. I was thinking about, in terms of cool ways I could do, like, I, they would be ASMR streams, but primarily I want it to be more like an interactive roleplay thing, where I've, I would actively, like, put into, uh, put effort into sort of the, like, I guess you could say immersion factor of the roleplay, of just, like, I'll plan it through, I'll have story beats, I'll have, like, background elements, potentially, like, props, stuff like that. Uh, but potentially with the whole theming of the, uh, uh, definitely not a computer virus, um, and the sort of cyberpunk engineer character that comes with that. I could do a sort of mechanics roleplay that could be quite fun. Um, but I'm I'm open to ideas. Uh, if you are in the Discord, feel free to put ideas there. Um, yeah, but this 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 is quite exciting actually. How I'm I'm doing this. I'm just sort of realizing I have been, I've thought for probably about a year that I wanted to do some element of roleplay, of uh, ASMR, I guess comedy, uh, writing, because I, I very much enjoy that aspect of it, but now I'm, I'm like, even like 20 minutes ago, I was like, am I going to do this stream, because it's, it's a little spooky, um, doing this in front of people that have, I've, I've mentioned in passing to people potentially doing streams like this, and it's always been hit with, like, a similar reaction, which I entirely understand, but, um, I, I hope people can open their mind to the fact that if they don't like something, they can just not watch it, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, hopefully we're all good. I've tried to muffle my computer fan as much as possible by putting like, blankets over the nearer areas. I didn't put it over the fans, because I didn't want to start a fire. Could you imagine that? That would be a fun roleplay. ASMR, but my house burns down around us. Ah, oh, I could write this down. Alright. You've never had popping candy before, wow. Never lived. Kanito Pet roleplay. Kanito Pet was a very good game um, that I would never stream. I, I really liked Kanito Pet, I, for, like, despite the fact that it's sort of the computer virus theme and the desktop assistant theme, I wasn't, I already had this planned out way before I played Kanito Pet. I very much enjoy Kanito Pet, it reveals way too much personal information for me to ever play on stream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Manga stream, yeah, especially if there was, like, fireworks in the background. Okay, this is a slight little... Uh -uh. I have accidentally arranged my debut stream to happen the day after the 4th of July, the big America Let's Shoot Off Fireworks Day. Um, Some people in the UK do that for some reason. Uh, some people do it the entire week of July 4th, so there may potentially be some 
let's say, sparking circuitry in the background of my microphone uh, during the debut stream. But, you know, we know what they're really celebrating. It's it's my big return to Twitch, which this definitely doesn't count as, uh, hopefully. I, I don't know whether or not I'll put this up as a VOD. It'll stay as a VOD on Twitch, but I don't know if I'll put this on the YouTube as a VOD, uh, unless people particularly want it. I mean, you, you guys are here, so potentially people would, uh, you know, engage with something like that. The, the, the fact that I'm doing VODs on YouTube is more for, like, I guess the sort of, uh, what's the word? It's like keeping a record of all the streams. Um, I very much doubt that people will watch the old streams, but it's, it's more to be like, look at all the things I've done. Uh, I be, I had a big debate with myself over putting it on the same YouTube channel as my videos, but in the end I was like, I've, I've made channels before separate from this one to do other stuff on, and the one thing I've learned from that is that I want to grow one particular location, like one channel, and then I shouldn't stretch my resources thin, and so I thought I'd be going back on those lessons if I didn't do that uh, and just put it on the same one. And looking at my videos tab, it does sort of make me like be like, ah, oh, I, sh I should have just made a new one so that it's organized. But I think that's just like the sort of OCD self of my stuff. Also, I was thinking about this. I've, I've been thinking about this a lot. Uh, I saw like a video of someone, my, my biggest pet peeve is people saying, oh, my OCD, when they don't have OCD, which is a diagnosable mental disorder. <laughs> uh, I do have this to a pretty decent severity, and I've been very upset that I haven't been able to talk about it on stream, because... I haven't been streaming. I, you know, those sort of arguments with yourself where you plan it all out and think, yeah, that'll be cool to say. Uh, I've, I've had that with myself and I still think it'll be cool to say. So, um, I'm going to be starting to use YouTube shorts and TikToks a lot more with the stream stuff. I'm dedicating days out of my schedule on my stream schedule to specifically do YouTube shorts, videos, uh, Twitter posts, and like those sort of memes. Um, so remind me, probably not on debut day, but on a different day, uh, I want to I wanna yell at you guys about OCD uh, for a bit, and then I'll put that in a YouTube short or something, and that'll matter to someone, presumably. Uh, yeah. Just heads up, that 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 rant is going to happen at some point. Uh, so strap in. Um, what else are we feeling here? I don't have any idea how long I want the stream to go on for. It was, it was mainly just does OBS run? Uh, and now I'm just, I'm going to do this just if this is like a, I was going to say like a podcast, but that this is just human conversation. That's, that's what this is. Don't have to label it as a podcast. This is just me talking. Um, should I, do you, does anyone want to suggest I do anything with this sort of setup? Because I don't know. I could, I could try, currently I'm like soft speaking, but I could try whispering. I mean, you'll hear it at the same time I'm hearing it, so no idea how that's going to sound. Uh, I don't often whisper, though that's a lie, I do often whisper, whisper to myself, but I don't whisper to myself in an audible microphone level. Uh, we'll see how much the filters hate that or not. 
um, do people use Twitch streams to go to sleep? I'm not sure, because I was just considering, maybe, I doubt anyone would for this one, uh, in particular, but I doubt, I was wondering whether or not I should do a normal speaking volume, just so I can see how that comes out on Twitch, but I think it'll come out the same as when I do a recording, uh, which is fine, because I've seen those before, and the microphone quality sounds good, so, yeah, all right, shall I, shall I whisper? I think, be warned, whispering is a lot more mouthy than talking, because you're not actually, like, vocalizing as much, uh, so, you know, if that's not your thing, all good, thank you for coming, um, to, to this, I, I uh, don't know how many people are still here, but I expected no one to be here, so I appreciate people coming to a stream that I actively decided not to announce. <laughs> uh, alright. You're here, you're here, welcome. Well, not welcome. Uh, hello. I guess, yeah, that's, is that an appropriate? That's still sort of a greeting. Uh, how about a nice? There we go. Nice with a finger gun. You couldn't see that, but I was I was doing a finger gun. I was gonna say you couldn't see that because of the GIF, but also, spoiler alert, the model reveal does not have finger gun capabilities. Uh I I will be looking into that uh, going forward. Alright. Oh I'm I am also very hyped up for this reveal. It's everything I've been doing is more and more ambitious, and I keep surprising myself that I'm able to get it done, because I'm like, can I do this? Will this take two weeks? And then I do it in six hours, and I'm like, oh, I guess having eight years experience of this does make me faster. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. Thank you. Thank you all for going. All right. I am going to do the whispering now. I won't end stream for, like, a, another little bit. I do want to test out some stuff. Can you f can you hear me fiddling with this foam thing? I'm sort of holding it. Anyway, yeah, I I won't end stream just yet. I will hold off on the uh, throwing you guys into the dungeon until my debut. For like, eh, I don't know. I, I, I could do this all day, actually. And, you know, do, do I need to do anything tomorrow? This could, this could be a, another 12-hour stream. Um, all right. Thank you, thank you. Hydrate. Well, here's an issue. My water is all the way across from the desk. I am not sat at my desk right now. I'm sat next to my desk so my mic arm can reach and I can actually go around your head. Uh, so, yeah. Let me, you know, I need those, you know, those grabbers that they use as like waste disposal, like where they pick up the litter. I need one of those so I can grab my water. All right, let me, let me see if I can get this. Do you want me to drink it on the mic? Is that weird? I'm not, I'm not going to pour water on the mic. That would be weird. <laughs> Electrocution ASMR. See, we're, we're just adding to the list of new concepts we've got to capitalize on. All right, I'm going to drink this. I'm pretty sure you're not going to hear any water sound, and you're just going to hear me gulp at the end. But you enjoy that to the fullest, okay? My treat. Oh. I didn't hear that, but I saw it on the audio levels, so... Maybe someone did. You know, Clary has the ara ara. I have gulping some water. You know, that'll be the new redeem. You heard it? Well, oh, ASMR getting water put it. Okay, we're figuring it all out. How about April Fool's next year? I do seven con like consecutive... 10 minute streams, which are all D 
different ludicrous ASMR concepts that are horribly uncomfortable. That'll be great. Alright, what was I going to do? Uh, I'm going to get a brush, like a makeup brush real quick. And I'm going to brush the mic for like two seconds. And you guys are going to be my guinea pigs to see whether or not it kills all of you at once. Alright, I'll be back in one second. Sorry, hopefully this doesn't get, I think I've got blush on the end of this brush. <laughs> hopefully that doesn't get all over my mic, because I don't have a pink microphone. I already, fun fact for you guys, here's a little bit of LED lore. I got this very expensive microphone five years ago, and I took it out of the box, looked at how pristine and beautiful it looked, and dropped it onto the little metal legs of my chair and dented it with a massive groove down the middle. So there's just this little canyon divot. So basically I'm saying you've got you've got a hole in your head. That's why you might be a little stupid. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, one of my one of my smartest moves. Alright, I'm going to mute the mic with the button on the microphone, which I think is quite loud, so I'm sorry, I just need to, like, blow my schnoz, wait, can you, you can hear that when I tap the mic, is that, is that way too loud, that seems like it's way too loud. Alright, I'm back, that accomplished nothing. All right, let me let me let me brush your groove, the groove in the top of your forehead. Tell me if this is too loud. I'll probably know because I'm staring at the audio meter. Oh, not that loud. Did it cut out because of the filter? Is the thing was that really quiet? I think that sounded okay. Wow. Yeah, you've got blush in the dent of your skull now. Whoa, I feel like a professional. I'm like, I'm brushing you right now. Whoa. The microphone is not big enough. It's not like a uh, 3DO, so I can't fully, like, I don't even know what the word would be. I can't, like, envelop you in the brush. I can, I can... That's, that's as long as I can really go. Unless I really, really just stretch it out. But then I think it's like barely audible. You hear it? Or is it, is it, is it satisfactory? Am I doing a good job? This is my first ever time doing anything like this. Uh, like the only times I've ever tried to do it, as in like, I've like, turn the microphone onto the setting, is in the middle of the day, and instead of doing what I'm doing now, which is through OBS, uh, mirroring the output into my headphones so I can hear myself, I would turn up the gain all the way so I can hear in my microphone, uh, through my headphones that way, um, so all I could hear was just, like, background noise and cars going by much louder than my voice. So hopefully this is vaguely adequate compared to that. Uh, it sounds good because I, I can hear myself now, but it's also obviously mixed with what I hear through my bones. Did you know that? No, okay, this is like a preschool fact, but for those that don't know, uh, you sound different in recordings because 
you're currently, when you're talking, normally not hearing yourself through your ears. You're hearing yourself through the vibrations in your skull. Wow! Little disconcerting fact for you there to relax to. Have another brush. You know, every disconcerting fact is one extra brush. Ah. Uh, your body's cringing? Good. I'm going to send you into, like, a paralysis shock through brushing. Whoa. Is that... Okay, that's on the left side. Okay. Whoa, how cool. Should I... I specifically told myself, okay, if I'm going to do this stream, let's let my nails grow out so I can try doing some tapping. And then I bit off all my nails yesterday, so I'm going to try my best. Can you hear that? Okay, I think the filters are having a hard time, but I think it is sometimes audible. Why, why did I say it like that? Audible. Hopes you've enjoyed this program. The right seems louder than the left. I think that's because I'm just talking more on the right. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is, this is, oh no, I've dropped my phone. We're all good, I've saved my phone, and I've accidentally transitioned into whispering, oh my god, whoa. Well, I guess I just needed that extra push to, of dropping an expensive device of mine that is probably not replaceable. I just, I'm sorry, my plosives, I need to watch out for the microphone. I, if I'm, it's very sensitive to large pushes of air. So I, I have to talk slightly away from it. Cool. Glad we've established this. Uh, it, it, I don't think it's because it's the dominant side of your body. I know you have a right hand, like people are right-handed and left-handed, but I don't think you're right-eared or left-eared. Uh, I might be wrong. It, did you know? And this I don't know as a science fact. I know this because I've done it before, and it weirded me out. Uh, when you're walking around, if you close one eye, uh, your eyeball thing... Uh, why did it... Sorry, I'm distracted by whether or not the redeems would make sound. They would not... They play for me. They don't play for you guys. I've got desktop audio off. But that was the scariest laugh I've ever heard. Thank you. Um, I, I can turn off the redeems working at all. Um, that. Did that teach me something about OBS? Because it didn't appear on the screen. Which means that my sound effect redeems are not appearing in my alert box. So thank you. Thank you for bringing my attention to such a pressing issue through a very scary jump scare. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, your eyeballs. If you... um cover up one eye and then change to the other eye one of them seems brighter than the other and I think that it's just like one eye is more sensitive to light and the other one is more sensitive to like something else maybe depth or colour I don't know I think it's colour uh, this is purely based on my own field work of me sitting there at ten years old, blinking and winking from side to side. Ah, uh, but I think that that might be a thing. 
Yeah, I think it's a thing. I haven't, I haven't, I don't even know what I would Google to find that out. But I think it's a thing. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, don't use the, don't use the redeems. They're not going to do anything this stream. The only thing in here is a muted alert box, the gif of me waffling, my microphone, and a muted desktop audio. It's just me and you. You can't escape that. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, we might just both have weird eyes. I do have visual snow. That is in my list of uh, weird things about the body that I'm in. Uh, I have my eyes see constant static as like on a light sort of level. Most people see that in the dark. Uh, a lot of the time when their eyes are focusing, I think, uh, but I see it all the time. And also I have tinnitus, so I always have a ringing in my ear, which is very fun for this, uh, when I'm trying to focus on very sensitive sounds. Yeah, exactly, yeah, it happens in the dark, I have it all the time, it's just a light level of, like, flickering, but, you know, I've never looked, I've never known not having it, so... You know, don't know what I'm missing out on. Uh, the Steam sale that happened. The summer sale is going on right now on Steam. And I've bought quite a lot of games for stream. Uh, I've got a, a bunch of stuff planned. I'm very excited. I'm not going to say how much I spent on Steam this week. Uh, it's not It's not as much as you're thinking now that I say that. But uh, it is... More than I would have spent if it wasn't the summer sale. Let's just say that. Uh, yeah. You want Chained Up. I saw Markiplier play that. That was That is very cool. Uh, I think it's, it's... It's decently cheap. It's not on sale though. So I'm not in a rush to get it. Um, yeah. I should be posting... The schedule. I'm going to post my schedule for the first two weeks when I post my schedule because it makes more sense considering I'm debuting uh, and that will be probably tomorrow I will do that uh, and from after that point for so not really for the first two weeks because I've got a few things getting in the way uh, I am going to try and be streaming regularly on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Not necessarily committed to that. I will occasionally stream outside of that. I'll occasionally miss days and then try and replace those days with ones outside of that. Uh, but overall, I'm going to try and do four streams a week. Uh, and it's going to be on those days. And I'll have Monday off uh, and uh, Thursday and Friday off. And across those days, uh, days, I'll also mix in editing YouTube videos and YouTube shorts and all that. But we're going for it. We're going for it this time. I'm, I'm not half committing. If you're going to do something in life, you got to commit or else no one else will. Uh, and so I am throwing myself at this and I'm going to be, I'm going to be the next big sensation. Mm -hmm. That's me. Uh... Yeah, and and this this has made me sort of, you know, I I I would be happy to do more ASMR stuff. I have, I have reached contentness of being comfortable doing this, uh, and if this is my least planned stream I've ever done, ah, uh, then the planned ASMR streams are going to be infinitely better, right? So hopefully that's good. Hopefully. We stay winning. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who has supported. I say everyone. It's a nameable amount of people. Uh, I'm just really bad with names. But uh, people like Iza and Mizo and Clary. Those are the three people that are in, in the front of the chat at the moment. So those are the names that I know. Uh, thank you so much. Like it's, it's wild. 
uh, that even to like a really experimental stream like this, people are coming. Uh, I didn't announce this anywhere. People found it. Uh, and that's really nice. I, 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 the Discord server got a little, a little more lively the other day, and that was really nice to watch as well and interact with. Uh, and I hopefully want to push that a bit more uh, as well. But yeah, it's this has been going really well. I can't wait for you guys to see what I've been working on for the last, like, I would say month, but really it's been more like six months. Uh, but I've I've been really, I'm I'm so happy with this. I've been surprising myself every day with how much, like, the scope has expanded, but the sort of quality has kept with it, uh, which is making me feel a lot, uh, feel very well about my, my overall ability in this field, uh, and I hope that I can continue bringing entertainment to you guys, and many more heading forward. Thank you, Clary. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to end this off uh, with like five minutes of trying to do some vaguely ASMR-esque things uh, so that I can watch specifically the end of the stream back, listen to it back and be like, yeah, all right, do more of that, do less of that. Uh, so feel free uh, if you don't want to listen to that, thank you for coming. Appreciate you a lot. Uh, July 5th, be there or go away. And I hate you personally forever. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, sorry, Clary. Clary, you can come on July 6th or more likely July 7th because <laughs> of jet lag. Um... I will, I will love you just as much for watching the VODs, and like anyone that spreads this, it, it means so much, I will, I will put a, the VOD out for the debut stream on YouTube, probably the day of, uh, or more likely the, the day, like after I finish the stream, I'll, I might put it up and then go to sleep, uh, I will also do an edited version of the debut, uh, as an actual video, like a highlight, whoa, okay, enough talking, uh, I'm going to mute up real quick, just so that I can take another drink, uh, I know, no redeem, whoa, I'm breaking the rules, uh, but yeah, and then I will do a quick five minutes of doing stuff, woo, uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Uh, I will see you in just a minute, or in a few days' time. Yay! Uh, cool. Alright, enough, enough clowning around. It's time to put you to sleep. Personally. You know, that'll, that'll be my ASMR intro when I'm big and famous. Alright. sounds like I can I can soft speak like this which I've been doing all stream or I can whisper and I can go between the ears and it's all very cool and blah 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 very cool uh other things include I've got like a flip book flip book flip book does this that's 
the noise of a flip book. Whoa. Never heard of that before. Uh, I can do the tapping, which I can do with my phone. That's probably the easiest surface. To... Oh. That's the sound of me hitting something with my knee. Write that down. That might be a useful trigger later. I'm going to get out the popping candy and we're going to do a quick 30 seconds of popping. Whoa, for anyone that's stuck around, this is your treat. You get to hear some violent and probably quite, I'll admit, salivary sounds, which I know is what everyone's after. That's what streamers, that's what the people want on Twitch nowadays. All right. Oh, it's all in, like, I've got to crush it up a bit because it's in, like, a card sheet. And I'm going to tip it in my mouth. And, whoa, yeah, no sleep for you. No, what are you talking about? This is going to be perfectly relaxing. All right. Everyone, prepare. Oh, my God. I put way too much in. That is way too much. It really hurts.
other things. Nice. All right. Ciao.